Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII! This is Chaos Baloo. And we are going straight up this time. Actually, a pretty wise choice. Uh, Emerald Weapon, every time you go into the underwater area, can appear, start off in one of like five or so different areas, with one of them being pretty much directly on top of that ship we were just in. Um, yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of nasty in that regard. Uh, in any case, there's one more place I want to visit in the submarine, and then we're gonna go back to Juon to actually see what's up with that airport. I'm, whatever it was, I'm sure we could not possibly have missed anything important. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. So this is probably good. Uh, no, no, wrong. Futon, there. Going forward, that looks like what I want. It's another cave! Another cave indeed. But I wonder where this one will go. I mean, I know where this one will go. Let's... Seriously? I mean, never mind that I took a 15 minute break between this and the last one. No, it... Of course, the, the phone rings two minutes into this video. Not even two minutes. More like 90 seconds. Tops. Arrgh. Anyway. Go up! This looks familiar. Yes. the This is the other way to visit... Well, here. Uh, there we go. And I figure we fought ten battles. So... And we have Vincent in our party. Hmm. Lucrecia doesn't seem to be here anymore. Oh, hey. But we got stuff. You can probably guess what that stuff is, but we'll look at it anyway. Behold! Chaos! Which I cannot quite give to Vincent yet. Plus also, Vincent's, Vincent's the bestest, um, weapon. Which, with a name like Death Penalty, I really should have realized this on my own. Uh, which gets stronger the more people he's killed. Uh, yeah. I don't know where that caps out. It may not cap out. Uh, I know that I'm certainly not going to grind kills for him any, any more beyond the bare minimum needed to, for him to get to his level 4 limit in the first place. Uh, in any case. Which, incidentally, I'll probably be doing pretty soon. Um... Uh, probably, yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Let's just get over to Juwan so we can do that. Then we can hop in our airship and fly over to where I actually want to go next. Which... Which... Well, we, we, we actually have a few options for what we could do next. Um, I don't really have enough money to do more Chocobo breeding yet. But I probably could collect it fairly easily now. Um, I don't have... So, well that... Hmm. I could do the next plot thing after Juwan. Or I can do the thing that I'm going to do. Which is Yuffie's thing. Incidentally. I mean, it's not really a spoiler, you're gonna see it in like two minutes. No reason to be subtle about it. Uh, but there is absolutely, absolutely a reason to rest. UV is like totally out of MP for one thing. I mean, that's really the big reason right there, actually. In any case, I don't really know where the airport is, so... I think we're just gonna sort of walk around Upper Juan until we get a cutscene saying that, oh no, um, oh no, oh wait, no, I know where the air sh airstrip is. Man, I'm stupid. It's obvious. It's where the high wind was, duh. Okay. Right, this shouldn't take long at all. Which raises the question of why I didn't come here first. Just don't think too hard, okay? Um, yeah, 
Uh, yeah. Anyway. Off we go. Airport should be this way. The old, the airstrip! Oh, yeah, that plane is taking off. We were too late! Egad! So the high wind was literally parked on the runway. Hmm. Oh no, the huge materia! Let's go! Where are they headed? I mean, yeah, of course. Why would you even ask us a stupid question? Of course they're going to Rocket Town. Where else would they be going? Hi, guys! Huh. What stuff? Hmm. I wonder if they're talking about that plane that was at the bottom of the ocean. Good for thought. Uh. Soldier second class. I did not think there were actually encounters here. Color me surprised. Let's mug you assholes. Could not steal anything. I mean, I'm just gonna keep mugging you until I get something. I want to see what you have. Or until or until you die, I suppose. You know, whichever comes first. I mean, I'm not gonna rush it along. But this is the inherent problem of mug over steal. You, you, you eventually kill the people you're trying to steal from. Now, you know what would make Mug good? If it was a guaranteed steal on a hit that killed them. That would be, like, so much better. Couldn't steal anything. You see? You see what I mean? I mean, they still would have eventually been killed by Vincent, but it would have had a lot more time to actually steal from them successfully had Mug not been Mug. Mug is not better. Mug is usually worse than regular old steel. Oh well. Once I master it, I'll have a regular steel game that I can use. Oh uh, yeah. Actually, I wonder. How much AP does that does it need to become mastered? Not that much. Most of it was front-loaded onto the mug thing. But okay then. Of course, I won't be able to sell that either. I mean, I wouldn't want want to. Steel is overall better than mug, but mug does serve some use. Really, the best mug is probably Final Fantasy VIII mug. It replaces the attack command. Its chances of success are extremely high. Uh, wait. I, I brought the chocobo with me, right? Yes. Okay, good. And there is no regular steel, so it's mug or bust. Every other game with mug, I think, at least within Final Fantasy, I honestly think steel is the better alternative. Of course, mind you, a big reason that steel or that mug is better in Final Fantasy VIII is because there is no steel command, it's only mug. Hmm. Anyway. Welcome back to Wutai! Let's, uh, let's, let's save. We can do it right here. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have... Well, I don't think I meant... Even if something disastrous did happen, honestly, we will not have missed that much. Uh, no, I don't need to go up there. One tiny little cutscene, and it'll be a big oopsie on my part. Well, two two small cutscenes, actually. Hmm. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this. Well, you know what? If my computer crashes, then so be it, I suppose. You won't you won't hear any of this anyway. Ha! <laughs> yeah, it's not it's actually not funny at all. Uh so you may notice that we are going up here. There's a reason for this. Uh, no, I don't want to go that way. I've taken a wrong turn. Uh, no. In fact, you may recall there was a fire cave somewhere up here. 
We'll see if we ever get to it. Oh yeah, no sweat. So right, as I was saying, you may recall that there was a fire cave up somewhere up here. Uh, if I can find it. it. It was it was over here, right? I was mistaken. Uh, or rather, I was correct the first time. I shouldn't have second-guessed myself. Hmm. Anyway. You will recall that we picked up Leviathan scales in the underwater reactor. Those will allow us to walk through the flame! Like so. I mean, honestly, I think this would have been better if we could just walk, completely walk through it, but you know, whatever. We got an Oritsuru. Excuse my poor pronunciation, please. Um, that's that's as about as well as I can do. And also steel as well. Which is convenient because I was just complaining about mug not working very well. Hmm. I could put steel as well on double cut. I think that would be pretty amazing. But, but no. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to put mug here and then steel as well here. So I steal when I mug. Although eventually what I'll probably do is I'll attach this to something like manipulate or something. Similar to, but not similar to manipulate, but not necessarily manipulate. Uh, with the obvious intent being doing hmm, that I can do something else while I'm also stealing, but I'm not dealing damage. That's the real key part, I think. Doing it without dealing damage. Of course, at the same time. I could just take my eventual baby steel and use that, <gasps> and then I could double steal, but no. If I did that, then I would actually just attach this to double cut, so I can steal and attack at the same time, except then I can actually do it with good attacks, you know? Uh, in any case, we, we got it now. Oh, also, before I forget, uh, no, it's not a weapon for you. Yuffie then? Yuffie. It's Yuffie. Uh, hmm. Okay, no problem. Uh, whoops. You better believe you're keeping restore. Right, let's throw that on. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, let's throw that on there. Um. No. Don't go. Don't do that. And. Seriously? Come on. Now. I need to rearrange my materia for doing the Yuffie side quest. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna want to do that off screen. Hmm. So here's the question: Do I want to? Hmm. I think what I'm gonna do, with that in mind, is I'm probably gonna cut off here and do all of Yuffie stuff all in one episode, with the alternative being that I do part of it, excuse me, this episode and part of next episode, but no, it's probably going to be a while for me to actually fix my material, so I'd rather do it this way. Uh, that way I can take a break in between. Uh, having said that, I will be stopping off here. So, join me next time when we do Yuffie's side quest. Until then, this has been Chaos Blue with Final Fantasy VII, and have a great day. Bye!